Signia powered stapling system that Dr. Graney is using. Um, what you'll notice is that you have an LED screen in the back that's telling you every control for opening and closing. Right now it's telling you to close the close the uh, cartridge in order for the handle to recognize it and then you want to open it. Let me show you the four buttons for opening and closing. Never use it unless you th see three green swim lanes. One, two, three. On the back, you'll see a four toggle switch. There's an up, down, side, side button, and then on the side, a reticulation button. Now, what you'll notice is if you press the down button, that closes the reload. If you press the up button, that opens the reload. Now, most of the times, the reason surgeons are using is this is they want infinite points of articulation. In order to articulate, you're gonna pull or push that toggle right or left. If you pull it, you'll notice that the reload fully articulates to 45 degrees. If you push it, it's gonna stop at the neutral position and then you'll push it again for it to articulate on the opposite direction. Now, roticulation is these two buttons. If you need to roticulate at 360 degrees, you can press down and again, it always is gonna stop at the 180 degree mark at neutral and then you can press it down again. Opposite way would be the opposite button. Now, when you're ready to fire, you need to close it down on tissue. Closing is the same as I showed you earlier, which is the bottom button. Once you close it all the way down and you get to that green, that means it's ready to fire. If you like placement, you can go ahead and fire, but if you don't, you can open it back up to reset it. So I'm gonna walk you through that one more time. Closing down, bottom button. You see green, you press that button. It hasn't fired, but it's, it's setting the, the stapler so that you're able to fire. If you don't like the position, open it and it's gonna reset it. Okay, so now we're gonna fire it. Close, bottom button. You see green, you press it, it starts to flash. That means it's ready to fire, the safety's released. And again, fire is the same as close. Close down and you'll always notice with our staplers, it's like an I-beam mechanism, physically drawing the forks together from the proximal to distal end. Once you get all the way to the end, you'll open it by pressing the top toggle. The I-beam mechanism pulls the stapler all the way back. It opens it, and if you hold on to that reload, it will automatically neutralize it to center. Then it pull, you pull it out of the trocar, either closed or open, preferably closed so that it doesn't pull the trocar out. And then when you hand it to the um, tech, what's important for them for loading and unloading is that they open the stapler. It will break it if they don't unload the stapler um, with it open. Pull back on the blue and twist the reload off. You'll notice that the swim lanes now have gone to two green swim lanes versus three because there's no reload on it. The stapler on the LED screen is telling you to put a reload on. So if you need a second firing, you'll put the reload on just as if um, you were using the manual handle. Arrow to arrow, push in, twist, and wait for the stapler and the software to recognize the reload. Close it, open it, and most of the times you'll see three green lanes, which means it's ready to fire.